Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Jelly Postcard Play 2024. Um, I have my card today and you can see that I have a stamp ready. I picked this stamp up uh, at a thrift store. It was $2.50, which is a little bit expensive. I'm going to go ahead and take that tag off of there. But um, I liked it. And I thought, I think I'm going to go ahead and pay the $2.50. It doesn't look like it's ever been used or maybe used just once. There's only a tiny little bit of ink on it. It says at the bottom, there's just no other place like home. And around it says, my safety harbor from the storm, my cozy haven, safe and warm. No matter where I choose to roam, there's no other place like home. So we're going to use that. I have a card here that only has a um, book page on it. It is in German. It's a little bit of Goethe. And I thought, but the, the page didn't quite come over the whole way. So I'm going to put a little bit of washi along the sides just to kind of finish off the page. I should be doing this, I suppose, with a jelly print. Oh, that's not any good anymore. This is the one I want. This is my new one. And uh, But I don't have a jelly print that I, at the moment that I really kind of like for it. All right, so. There we go. I think that's going to work just fine. We're going to leave that just as it is. I thought about putting it over the top, but I don't know what I want to do with the top yet. So let's go ahead and get this thing stamped. I have my stamping page here that I want to put underneath it because this is just a little bit wider. Yeah, it's a little bit wider than my stamp. So, or uh, the stamp is wider than my, what I'm stamping on. Oh, this is very wet. Okay. I've been storing this upside down for about the past hour while I ran and did errands. I got everything all set up and then realized I had to do some errands. So I went and did all of those. And I left this upside down. I guess I don't need to. It's pretty juicy. Let's hope it works well. Do I wanna? Yeah, we'll just do a quick little stamp off there just to get some of the ink off. If this doesn't come out, I made extra cards. I made extra cards to make sure. Oh, that's okay. It's not awful. It's a good base. I need to let that dry for a minute. Let me set that up there and let that dry while I clean off this stamp a little bit. I do like the stamp. Okay, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go wash that off because I don't want that ink to stick. I'm back and I knocked my camera, so hopefully I'm back in the same spot. That stamp cleaned up real nice. I'm very pleased with it. It is from... Uh, Stamps Happen Incorporated in Fullerton, California, but the image is licensed from Arts Unique in Co Cookville, Tennessee. So, yeah, that's a nice stamp. I like that stamp. So let's bring that back down here and see how we're doing. Okay, how's it drying? It's still a little bit damp, especially along the washi. So while that's doing that, I'm going to pull out my pieces here. I do have this piece which might be kind of nice along the bottom because the the lettering did not come out not really not not very well. Um, I think my ink my ink pad is just too juicy for that so we're just going to leave that over there and we'll find some other pieces. Now I have this piece here okay we'll leave that there because I like that but Hmm, what else do I have in that color? This was the ghost print that I got from that. I could put a little ghost print down here. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe I will just leave it as it is. I have some 
lettering behind. Okay, let me see what I can do. I was planning to do some... You know what? I'm really worried that's not going to dry. Let me grab a piece here. I think we're going to mess this up. We're going to go ahead and mess this up a little bit. And if it doesn't work, then you know what? You will never know because I will take this off and I will do something else. I should have stamped it before I put the washi on because that stamp does not want to go over the washi. Okay, I kind of like that little ghosty look there of the... That works out. Not what I intended, but it works. Okay, as far as, far as the number 22 goes, let me just talk about that real quick. <clears throat> I didn't have a 22. So I went to the hymnal that I have been taking apart and using as music behind things. And I pulled out number 322. There was no number 22. And 222 I've already used for something else. Are you hearing the bird out there? I don't know what kind of bird it is. If you know what it is, let me know. Because I don't know what kind of bird that is. And I don't have my... I, I can't get to my app because it's on my phone and I'm filming. Okay, so now we have an extra three. We'll just kind of throw that off to the side and try not to lose it. And I have this little 22 that I was planning to do as a house number. But it needs a little something. So there we go. I know what it needs. It needs just a little bit of color behind it. as the house number. I like that. Okay, let's see if we can't rip that straighter along here. I generally am not very good with such delicate things. My big old German fingers don't really give me much room. I am from Irish and German peasant stock. There is no, well, actually, I say there's no nobility or royalty, but I have found out that that is actually not true. I have, oh, cousins, I forget how many times removed. They would have been a couple, several generations back who were caught trying to help, um, Marie Antoinette escaped the country. And so, I don't know if they were, I assume they were guillotined. Um, but so apparently there is nobility somewhere, but it's many generations back and long overtaken, at least in my fingers, with something much more peasant oriented. Okay, I'm liking how this is starting, but I need, obviously, to put something up here. Do I want to put more washi up there? At this point, the only jelly print I have on there is that what's under the 22. Uh, because this is really too dark, I think, to put up there. I mean, I'm tempted just to take a tiny little bit of it. Let me see if I can. I can't probably not even sure I can get a little bit of it. Okay, let's try this. Okay, we did not get that at all. Yeah, well, that's what I was worried about. I mean, I could put a little bit down there just to... Okay, let's do that. we got a little bit of, I don't know what going on down at the bottom, but we can call it a little flower. Okay, that did not work at all. I am apparently... I gotta get... Let me move that one out of the way because I keep grabbing the wrong one. Okay, let's put that whole thing there. And then we're going to attach it right at the edge. Right 
right at the edge. And then we're gonna cut it off. This is on gift wrap tissue. I'm not getting very close with this one, that's okay. Let's do this, maybe. Yeah, this is gift wrap tissue that I tried and I, it was a, it, you can see that it's a coral color. And I got stuff sticking to my scissors. It is a very, very muggy day today. We have no tornado warnings, thankfully, today. We, we did that last, just a couple days ago. We had more of those. Um, in fact, we had a tornado touch down about 20 miles away. Uh, actually, two tornadoes so that same day touched down, both of them 20 miles away, both in different directions. Oh. Okay, I went and I found um, that same stamp. That's this stamp here. It, I think it's a Tim Holtz stamp. But in the same envelope, I also have these stamps, and I decided I'm going to try this. And again... If I goof it up, um, let's go this way, and we're going to come this way, and I want to put just a little bit here. And then let me grab that. I just threw it away and grab it out again and wipe off here because that's not ever going to dry. I think that's enough. Okay. All right. Am I doing too much now? You know what it needs? Let me grab it. It just needs little corners, I think. Not big corners, just little ones. And there we go. Oh, my stamp is stuck. Day 22. Our first door, our first welcoming into the house. If you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I am doing these all month long. And uh, click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. This is Cindy signing off.